It's May 4th, 1955. Former middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson, prepares to meet Garth Tanner in Detroit. The fighters receive last-minute referee's instructions. Ray Robinson in white trunks, boxing smartly here in round one. Garth Tanner is wearing the dark trunks. Robinson is on the comeback trail. Ray retired as champion in 1952 and then announced his return to the ring just six months ago. This is Ray's fifth fight since his return to the ring. He is fighting his way to get a shot at current world middleweight champ, Carl Bobo Olsen. Right now, Ray is looking for the combination that will enable him to move past a tough Garth Tanner. Tanner won round two with aggressive punching. Robinson came on strong to win rounds three through five. Here in round six, Ray is definitely ahead on points. Robinson won the World Middleweight Championship in 1951 when he KO'd the tough Jake Lomata. In his first defense of the world title, Ray lost a close, tough 15-round decision to Randy Turpin. Two months later, Ray regained the title with a convincing 10th-round knockout of the English middleweight champion. In his last fight just two weeks ago, Robinson KO'd Ted Ola in Milwaukee. Ray's manager, George Gainford, is confident that Ray will be victorious tonight and is already looking ahead at current middleweight title holder, Carl Bobo Olsen. A sharp left hook by Ray Robinson. Ray ties up Panther. Robinson continued to add to his lead in round seven through nine. As we approach the end of the fight in this tenth and final round, Ray is definitely ahead in the scoring. Ray with that classic stand-up style. There's the bell ending the fight. Ray Robinson is awarded a unanimous decision over rugged Garth Tanner here in Detroit. Both men gave it their all, but Sugar Ray just had too many guns for the game Tanner.